These cherries are oozing with goodness. Don't you agree? And these rolls? Mm -mm. A picture that you can smell. And would you look at those rich pools of chocolate chip. Look at that flaky texture. It's so alive. Not a fan of sweets? Well then, here's something savory. Look, there's also vegetables on the side. A little bit of everything for everyone. And this is the star of the show. Did you like that? Well, I should let you know that I'm doing this in conjunction with my LCIF challenge. So here's a little disclaimer. To make this LCIF challenge more meaningful, I would be launching a complimentary series alongside with it. It's called PSN Feature, where we would give a spotlight to those deserving food businesses that started during the quarantine. Every week, I will be ordering delicious, carb-rich foods from them for the duration of this challenge. I hope you know where I'm going with this, but as you all know, I am allowed to have a cheat day if and only if I can achieve my end of week weight goals. If I do, then I can enjoy these foods without any restrictions. Otherwise, I'll have the rest of my household review the food for me. I came up with this to support home-based businesses so that our economy could continue with little to no physical contact. This is a photo of me and Wella, the owner of the Yellow Table Kitchen. And I'd like to make it clear that this was taken way before the COVID-19 situation. She was my former senior training manager. Everything that I've learned about leading people, I learned from her. You might be thinking, well, this is probably the reason why he selected that business. But the reality is, I selected the Yellow Table Kitchen because I know that the owner is very passionate with what she does. Here's the thing. If you're passionate about doing something, you can't hide it. It will show in your output and everything you touch turns to gold. Did you or did you not salivate with those photos earlier? Hmm? TSN is short for passion. If you strongly believe that this applies to you, go ahead and send a message to the email address in the description so I can check your business out. According to their Facebook page, the Yellow Table Kitchen is open from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's in Philippine time. And you may send them a message to communicate your order or maybe a reservation. From Mondays to Thursdays, 9 p.m. I suppose Friday is when the magic happens and Saturday is when you receive it. As a tip, if your location is quite hard to find, you can offer to book the delivery on behalf of the seller. In this scenario, we used Grab. I allowed it to use my GPS and pinpoint my location. If you are the one to book the delivery, just open the Grab app, select Delivery, and it should be straightforward from there. I got my food in less than an hour. It could be sooner or later for you, depending on where you are. And now, for the review. My food arrived in an eco-friendly bag that is tinted a happy yellow, which is quite representative of the brand. Now let me just take my time to carefully untangle to reveal what's inside. This is what I saw after removing the yellow bag. And you should know that I only ordered the lasagna. Wella actually sent me cookies for old time's sake. And what's more, she messaged me shortly after these came out of the oven, so the food is still warm when it arrived. After removing the plastic film, I can now finally smell what's inside. God, I wish you could smell this with me. But anyway, it is quite oily, but I'm not about to complain because with the diet that I'm currently in right now, the fat does a great job in replacing the carbohydrates that I'm supposed to not eat, if that makes sense. And this is me trying to do a beautiful slice shot. And of course, miserably failing at it. I'm sorry if I can't do it like those other guys, but this is so much harder than it looks. I'm not sure why I cut in the dead center, but anyway. The first thing that caught my eye when I lifted that first piece is those creamy pieces that are oozing out. So, just the look of it makes me salivate. 
Ooh, why am I doing an LCIF challenge at the same time with this? Here's a closer look on that center that I cut through. Look at that. I can see parts of the meat, the creamy cheese, the goody, goody oiliness. And this is the slice that I lifted off earlier into a plate. God, this is made in heaven. And now for the taste test. This is so much lasagna. I just had to involve the entire household. And by that, I mean my brother and my grandmother. What's up? Mmm. It's good. Okay. I like the... Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Especially the creamy. Ah, okay. Creamy texture. But... Medyo, medyo oily, pero okay lang, okay lang naman yun. Yun lang. Sila din ang gusto din. Hi, Dave! Kumusta? Masarap. Masarap? Ano yung nagustuhan mo? Tama lang sa alat at saka sa... Simple. Okay. <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? <sighs> well, I'm going to eat lasagna. You guys know what this means, right? Yes, I would not give away so much. But the fact that I am having a bite of this, you know what that means. And now, <clears throat> my verdict, you guys. Haha. -ha. All right. I am eating it. Mm. The first thing that hit me is the creaminess. If you would remember in the cutting video, um, <clears throat> this thing gushed cheese when I cut it the first slices. So I'm not surprised why. Mm -hmm. From its appearance, it is <clears throat> quite oily. But based on my diet, I am not about to complain because oil is the substitute for carbohydrates. And... Let's just say, I did mention that I would not give away so much, but if I would not do this, which would typical, um, technically serve as my carb refeed, I might be a skeleton by the end of the LCIF challenge. So, I need this, people. I need this. Mm -hmm. mm. The meat is there. There's a piece of tomato, which I really like. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my god, I could eat this for days. Only I can't just today. Ah. My dogs Daniel and Sophie also want to bite, so I did a quick Google search just to see if they can. I'm hoping they can, but they can't. This is so sad. So, so sad. Dean. Oh, Sophie. I wonder if there are lasagna that's specifically baked for dogs. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say. Wait. What about that spaghetti scene on the Lady and the Tramp? But anyway, I'm so sorry, baby. I want to give you delicious food, but at the same time, I would like to be with you even more. Love you. And now, for this cookie right here. So, I haven't had sweets in a while. And I haven't had cookies in a while. 
Mm. It's chewy. It has melted chocolate. I like it. Not too sweet. I like the texture. A very chewy texture. And I may or may not have mentioned this. I didn't order for this. The owner just sent it to me for free. Take that. I vividly remember Wella preparing this exact same lasagna recipe during one of our important meetings. And this experience just gave back a slice of that. And I love it. I would simply give this a 5 out of 5. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, a business meeting without food should just be an email. And that's a wrap for PSN Features first video. Whew. This is tiring, but it's so, so worth it. Especially knowing that parts of the economy will be benefiting from this and that a small, uh, passionate business owner will, you know, reach a wider audience because of this very simple act. All I did was really eat lasagna in front of a screen. But anyway, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, the Yellow Table Kitchen's Facebook and Instagram pages will be in the description. Check them out, get something, help a business, help the economy. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.